My name is Donna DeAngelis, and um, I was the care provider or caretaker for my partner, Beatrice. She had these incredibly bad pressure sores. They were actually so bad, she required surgery for them. My name's Susan. My husband was in and out of the hospital for a six month period. And during that time, I developed bed sores and they were really quite painful and, and hard to deal with. He developed third stage bed sores three different times. My mom got sick and they took her to the hospital and she was only there for five weeks. You know, I don't, I, I just seemed like she came back in worse shape than when she yeah. went in. I just didn't think that she had made any progress. So I brought her home and with the help of my daughter, Heather, we proceeded to take care of her. What's up, world? I'm back, Eric Patrick. I was broadcasting live, live from me to you. So the pressure wound started out of nowhere. I mean, you know, we do a skin check in the morning, skin check at night, roll me over at night, just got back in bed, boom, hole. There's a hole. I mean, a big hole. You know, all of her wounds were weeping. Um, you know, eventually they would all bleed through whatever the dressing was there. So you're constantly having to change the pillows, wash the pillows, change the pillowcases. They are so painful and they start away down deep on the bone and push their way up through the skin. She could not sit up. She got really progressively worse. She had sores on her heels and on her toes. And then she started to get a pressure sore on her lower, like the, by the coccyx bone, I believe. We were using pillows, foam wedges. Gel filled cushion. I had wedges, I had waffle beds. All this pillow stuff, that stuff gets hot, you get thrown over on your side. It's uncomfortable, your body gets twisted. They go flat or they pop out. Um, there's nothing you know, to hold the pillows in place. Uh, even the foam wedge, even though you know, that held in place better than the pillows, eventually it would just move out because you have to put it on pillows and it would just slide out. And I didn't have to just put one pillow. I had to put several, several you know, smaller to kind of wedge yeah. in there. So even with the turning and turning and turning and forward, trying to push her, mom, we were like pulling her insides out, just trying to get her turned. And she still, yeah. to me, didn't look comfortable. It was quite a physical task as well as mental. Mm -hmm. Anything that said that they'd cure bed sores, I bought it. And no matter what you use, eventually it doesn't work. So I was like, there's gotta be something out there. And so once I found the backbone wedge, I was like, let's do it, let's, let's, let's try it. I brought it into my husband's hospital room. I said, I think I've got the answer. And he looked painfully at me and says, I sure hope so. I don't know how, how much longer I can stand these, this burning, excruciating pain. So I slipped it underneath his, his backside and he looked at me and he says, for the first time, I have relief. It seems like it's working. It doesn't go flat. It is in the exact right depth and height to hold the person in the right position and to be able to lift her enough that B could get off these pressure sores to give them an opportunity to heal. It just made it so much quicker for her and easier for us. And when we got it and we, you know, we started using it and we were like, wow, what a difference. Mm -hmm. um, just easier to turn her and then we no longer had pressure mm -hmm. sores, the heel sores, everything went away. It was just easier to do. And mm -hmm. we, it was just more consistent. Yeah, absolutely. No more pillogamy, no guessing. You also will have less spasms when you're on it properly because your body is not like, twisted and things like that. Yeah, way more comfortable. When I went back in the hospital, I took it there. They were like, wow, this is amazing. They used it, like all the staff used the backbone wedge while I was there. I'm now back in the hospital. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I thank God every day for my uh, my cushion, my, my rescue cushion. And I'm currently using right now in this hospital, as you can see, and because it's curved and not flat like a pillow, we could actually put the wedge around the wound. So there was actually nothing on the wound, unlike with a pillow. It's definitely worth it. And unlike pillows, you know, it's something that you'll have forever.
you know, you only have to buy it once. Even when we had to put her bed up, you know, to eat, the wedge all stayed in place. I have not used anything else since the wedge. There's no reason to use the other wedges at all. Sometimes when it's under me, uh, you, you forget. And now it's just natural and it's amazing. This is how it's put on. You don't even have to change your bed. Just roll over a little bit, Charles. And you stick it underneath there and he rolls back. This works, nothing else did. And will relieve the pressure. Once you take the pressure off, the circulation comes back. You get it clean, you take care of it, those wounds will go away. They will close up. It was just simple, yeah. Not only for the patient, but for the caregivers. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I will say this, it was a godsend because you could see the results on a daily basis. Comfort and protection and health, really. You know, bees wounds got very badly infected. And I think if we had had that wedge a long time ago, they would not have been in the condition that they were in. So that's a big deal. Well, it's a game changer, that's for sure. I mean, when you design something for the purpose, it works. It's all good, let's save some lives. The Bedso Rescue Cushion is designed and patented by Jewel Nursing Solutions. If you're caring for someone who needs pressure relief, don't wait. Get your Bedso Rescue Cushion today. For home purchases, go to bedsorescue.com. And for more clinical information and facility pricing, go to jewelnursingsolutions.com.